Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to count the number of cases within each group of a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 3 to 6 of the code. You will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears and we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data and as you can see our data consists of 100 rows and three columns whereby the first column is a numeric column which is called x and the second and the third column are our grouping columns whereby the column group 1 consists of the groups a and b and the group 2 column consists of the groups c D and E. So let's assume that we want to extract the number of rows of exactly one group combination of group 1 and group 2. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 9. So in this line of code we are applying the nrow function to a subset of our data frame and this subset is consisting of all rows where the column group 1 is equal to group A and the column group 2 is equal to the grouping value C. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console the value 16 is returned and this means that exactly 16 cases of our data frame contain the value A for the column group 1 and the value C for the column group 2. So in this first example I have shown you how to extract the number of cases of one specific group combination. However, you could also apply a more general approach by using the aggregate function as you can see in lines 12 to 14 of the code. And with these lines of code we can extract the number of cases for each group combination of our data. So let's run this code. And then you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console a new data matrix is returned which is showing each combination of group 1 and group 2. So you can see for instance that in the first line the group combination of A in group 1 and C in group 2 is returned and as you can see the output is showing that this group combination occurs 16 times in our data. So this first line is showing exactly the same result as in example 1 where we have only had a look at the combination A and C. However, in this more general approach you can also see all the number of cases of the other group combinations. So in the second line you can see the group combination B and C. In the third line you can see the combination of A and D. And always in the last column of this output you can see how many cases in our data frame have this group combination. Yeah, so in this video you have seen two different ways how to extract the number of cases within a group of a data frame in R. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.